Hi everyone, my name is Candy, and I just wanted to um, tell you my story with Visual Snow. Uh, this started for me in 2006. The symptoms were pretty subtle back then. Um, I remember seeing the static only a, a couple times. Um, for me, it was mainly uh, my depth perception, and I would see um, these things that I explain them as looking like gnats in my vision. Um, usually I've seen it when I would look outside. Um, the worst for me at that time was something called depersonalization, where I just uh, I didn't feel like myself anymore. That symptom alone um, destroyed so much for me back then. Uh, I had just purchased a new home. Um, I was in a long-term relationship. and um, I lost both of those things because of that symptom and um, things started to slowly get worse from then. Um, I did deal with my symptoms for a while. I had noticed in uh, late 2008, early 2009 that some things were starting to change. Um, I actually started seeing um, these little things that would kind of wisp around in my vision, especially when I was looking at something white or light or the sky, um, the road. Um, I was noticing these little things that were popping in my vision and it would be like just for a brief second, it would be a different color, like a blue or red, um, silver, something like that. And I remember one day, um, my dog walking past me. Um, me and my new boyfriend had just gotten a new apartment and my dog had walked past me and I remember seeing his tail kind of follow him after he had left and it scared me but you know I pushed it aside. Um, I had been you know, I, I have a condition called um, hyperthyroid, so I had been taking medication for that. And I thought, okay, well, maybe this was a thyroid symptom. Um, I had stopped taking an antidepressant as well. Um, that was one of the medications that they had put me on um, during my first symptom thing and with the dizziness and everything. And um, I thought, okay, well, it, maybe it's the combination of both of these things happening. So I ignored it. I ended up getting pregnant um, probably within a month of this starting. And throughout my pregnancy, there was weird uh, things that were going on. Um, I started, like if I was at the doctor's office, especially under fluorescent light, that's whenever it would seem like it was the worst. Um, I would look at like a picture on the wall. And when I would look away, the outline of this picture would still be in my vision. Um, Again, somehow I managed to blame this on something else, uh, the pregnancy, the thyroid, um, and carried on with my pregnancy. Had my son in December of 2009 and started feeling worse with um, the depersonalization, things like that, depression. Um, my mother had passed away suddenly um, when I was pregnant, and so I thought, Maybe that's why I was feeling this. Maybe it was postpartum. Whatever it was, I decided I wanted to go back on medication to see if it could help me so that I could be a good mother. Um, I remember taking a certain medication and um, took it for maybe a month or two, and it didn't work. And so we tried a different medication. And within a few days, I started noticing that I was not feeling right. I felt um, I kind of explained it as feeling hyper um, and within those few days um, of feeling like that I remember just one day um, I can't say that it was waking up that I noticed it I know I had been having some headaches at that time and in particular this headache was lasting for days um, I remember taking medication for that as well during this time, but it seemed like once this headache stopped, <clears throat> and it happened to be a few days after this medication that I started, I remember seeing static. 
I think I was in my bedroom. I'm not sure what I was doing. It wasn't like it was, I woke up and there it was. It was like I was going on with my day. And then all of a sudden I noticed this. Um, along with that, once that happened, I started noticing more of like the trailing vision. Um, just not feeling like myself. I started Googling my symptoms and that's what led me to um, a visual snow um, I guess definition of all of this and um, the the most disheartening thing about that you know having a new kid a new baby and um, finding out that there's nobody studying this condition that I had me um, just a normal person who lives in a small town, I guess I would call it, um, has this condition with uh, no rhyme or reason. Um, there wasn't a medication that I could take to make myself better, to make my um, vision go back to normal, to feel normal. That was scary for me. Um, on top of this, migraines started. I was getting them every single day. Um, I was still going to work and by the time I got home it was go straight to bed. Um, try to fall asleep to get this pain to go away. My husband, thank God, he was there. He took care of uh, my son pretty much by himself for the first year of going through this. I'd gone to doctor and doctor and doctor and nobody had an explanation. It wasn't allergies. Um, that was apparent. Um, they basically, some of them had said, oh, yes, I've heard of this. No, there's nobody studying it. Um, there's no medication that you can take. Um, that was uh, a very, very dark time for me. Um, I did eventually get on a waiting list and seen a neurologist who specialized in headaches, and she did put me on a medication. Um, that did actually help with the migraines that I was experiencing daily. I um, am down to having them just a few times a month, which is great. But as far as the vision stuff, it did seem to kind of take the edge off of what I was going through, and um, I didn't notice them as much. I um, did start moving on with my life, um, which is great. There, um, We did get two doctors who started studying the condition. I was one of the uh, 20 people who did fly out to San Francisco and be in the study. So once we got results with that, that was um, probably one of the best days of my life. However, several months before us finding out exactly what was going on with the brain, um, I started having new symptoms. Um, my Visual snow, I still have, and all of the other stuff, but uh, this other symptom has been really harsh because, you know, with the visual snow and the after images and things, I've been able to drive. I can't drive at night. I can't drive in the dark, and I can't drive when the sun starts setting. Um, but I was able to drive during the day, and I could, you know, drive wherever I wanted. For me, driving was an outlet. Um, I could hop in my car, turn on my music, and just go for a drive and clear my mind. Um, I've always had this desire to travel the world and see as much as I can. Um, this new symptom has taken that away from me. There are only, from what I know, um, a handful of other people with visual snow who have this particular symptom. I'm sure there are more. Um, maybe it doesn't bother them as much. Um, I'm not sure what it is. They, they don't talk about it so much. But um, for me, it's um, the hell of all hells. Um, if I'm in a car, and it doesn't matter if I was to drive or if I was a passenger, everything in my peripheral vision um, is no longer smooth. So for me, it almost looks like a comic strip, like flipping it through a comic strip and... Um, or flipbook comic, that's what it's called. So everything's kind of just jerks right across, like in my peripheral, everything's jerking as it's coming. So if I'm driving, every mark on the road, every sign, um, telephone pole, I mean, anything 
that's going past me is jerking in my vision. So it's no longer smooth. Um, on top of that, sometimes if, if we're on a straight road, the road no longer seems like it's flat. It actually bends. So it constantly will look like I'm kind of going down a hill. Um, I say like a roller coaster. It, it literally feels like it. My stomach turns, um, expecting to feel that drop. Um, I guess that this is just something that has to do with where this is located in the brain because I know that it has to do with your spatial orientation and things like that. And that would explain why I had symptoms of dizziness. I know that not everyone with visual snow has the same symptoms. For some people, their static is so bad that they cannot see across the room. And for others, it may not be that bad. But their after images can be so bad. Some people have positive after images. That's where if you were to look at me in this video and look away and you would see not only a negative, it, it's actually, you would see every color, every detail of what you're looking at now whenever you look away. Um, for some, they have negative after images where you would look at me, look away and see my outline. Um, and then there's, you know, I've heard of colored static. Um, there are just a whole range. Um, some of the symptoms that have been described on the, the GoFundMe site, um, there's some that are even more than that. Um, I mean, there, if, if you were to be on the Visual Snow site and just hear what a lot of these people are going through, it's disheartening. Um, not only is this rare and all of these symptoms rare and hard for just a normal person to put their head around. This is what people are living through every day. And we have only two doctors who are willing to study this condition. But because this is so rare, the funding is is not there. They don't have the medical community backing them up because this is a rare disorder. It's new. And new and unknown things are kind of scary. Um, but you know, if, if you can do anything today, even if it's a small amount, um, a dollar, two dollars, every little bit helps and it adds up and it's, it's another, uh, dollar going towards something that, you know, we hope to one day just eradicate, um, you know, from being in a rare category that, People who go to their doctor and they say, I have this and this and this as a symptom. I don't know what's going on. And the doctor can simply look through his medical book and say, this is what you have. You don't have to be afraid. You can take this medication and you're going to be fine. You know, we don't have that now, but with help, we can. Every disorder that you can look up online or in a book started in a situation like this and they had people who helped them who believed in them and so we're asking you if there's anything that you can do no matter how small please please just help us we want to have that chance again to have that life that we had before that life that we loved waking up every morning and being excited for a new day instead of being afraid i want to have that chance to be to be a mother to be the real person that I know that I was supposed to be and that I can be.